Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to install BodySlide correctly following a standard installation procedure. We will be installing BodySlide along with a compatible body mod for both Mod Organizer 2 and Vortex. You can use any compatible body mod, but we will install CBBE as our example. If you just want to get on with the install, please use the timestamps in the description to skip ahead. However, if you'd like to understand exactly what you are installing first, and what body options you have, then keep watching. There seems to be some misunderstanding about this great tool, so let's clarify a few things before we start. Body Slide is not a mod. By itself, it contains no meshes, no textures, no Skyrim scripts, and no plugin. It does nothing while your game is running. And in fact, it doesn't do anything at all unless you tell it to. Instead, Body Slide is a tool, like Loot, XEdit, or NIF Optimizer, for example. You use it entirely outside of the game to create reshaped body, armor, or outfit NIFs, and, if you choose this option when you build, to also create morph files for mods like Race Menu to use. After these files are created, Body Slide will just hang out again, doing nothing until you tell it to build something else. For Body Slide to do its magic, it needs something to work on. You can't just install Body Slide all by itself, or it will look like this when you open it. There are no sliders and nothing in the drop down menus. To give Body Slide what it needs, you will also need to install at least one of the mods listed here under Add ons. These are all body mods, and importantly, they are body mods that have been specifically created to be compatible with Body Slide. You can tell this because they all contain the Caliente Tools files. You can install any of these suggested add ons, and Body Slide will work. But if you are new to all of this, I strongly suggest that you start with CBBE for women or Himbo for men. These are, in my opinion, the easiest body mods to work with, especially if you are just learning. You can always come back later and try one of these other bodies once you get the hang of using Body Slide with CBBE. It is worth mentioning here that UNP, either the SSE version or the LE version, is not Body Slide compatible. This is not because the Body Slide mod authors hate UNP, although they probably hate answering this question by now. It is simply that UNP lacks the appropriate files to work in Body Slide. So if you install only UNP and not one of the compatible body mods, you'll end up with an empty body slide window. As an alternative, you can find the old UNP shape in several of the compatible body mods. And there is also BHUNP, which is compatible. But note that BHUNP is not exactly the same thing as UNP or UUNP, although they are related. If you are a beginner, Please follow the process exactly as shown in this video for your respective mod manager. This should provide you with a complete, safe, and ready-to-go installation. For more advanced modders, I'll be covering a non-standard, more customized type of installation method in the next video if you are interested in that. Alright, so let's get Body Slide installed. If you already have Outfit Studio, then this will be easy. And if you use Vortex, this is even easier because the Body Slide tool probably auto populated itself when you installed the mod for using Outfit Studio. If you do not already have Body Slide or Outfit Studio, then just head over to the mod page, see the link in the description, to download it via your mod manager. Then install it as you would any other mod. Here you can see the installation for MO2. Download via your mod manager. Double click on the download. Change the name in the box if you wish, and then click OK. 
located at the bottom of the left hand pane, activate it, and then either drag and drop it wherever you want, or click on the number here and enter a load order number manually. I like to put mine towards the top of my load order, but I'm not sure that matters. Here you can see the installation for Vortex. Just download via your mod manager, let Vortex do its thing, and then locate body slide and make sure it is activated. For either mod manager, you will also need one of the body mod add-ons that I mentioned in the introduction. And I recommend CBBE if you are new to body slide. To install CBBE or any of these add-ons, just do it like you would any other mod and be sure to activate it in your load order. You can pick whatever choices you want in the faux mod. None of that will affect how body slide works, only how the body will appear in the game as a default. Please note that if your body mod's faux mod has options for race menu morphs, like CBBE does, then you only need to select these if you intend to use body slide sliders for your character in the game via the race menu mod. This requires some extra work, which is beyond the scope of this video, so please refer to the race menu and body slide mod pages if you are interested in that. Okay, once body slide and outfit studio has been installed and activated, and you've got CBBE or other compatible body mod installed and activated, then we have to set up the body slide executable file in your mod manager. The process is different for Vortex versus MO2, and we're going to do Vortex first because it's easier. If you use MO2, please see the timestamp in the description to skip to that part. If you are a Vortex user, the body slide executable should have been automatically added for you when you downloaded and installed the tool. If you already have the icon in your tools bar or on your dashboard and it's not grayed out, then you are ready to go. You just need to click on the tool icon to launch body slide. And the first time you launch it, you have to set the game data path, which I'll show you in just a bit. If the body slide button is not on your dashboard at all, then click the big plus sign and select new. Or if you have the button, but it is grayed out, then click the three little dots just to the right of the icon and select edit. In the pop-up window, enter body slide as the name if it's not already there. To the right of the target field, click the little folder. Navigate to your Skyrim data folder, open Caliente Tools, Body Slide, and select the Body Slide X64 executable file. Click on Open. The icon should set itself automatically here, but if it does not, click on it and navigate again to the Body Slide executable. Make sure the little drop down box next to File Name at the bottom is set to executable files. Then select bodyslide x64.exe and click on open. To finish up, simply hit save and now you are ready for the next step. Launch body slide by clicking the icon in your dashboard or up here in the toolbar if you have that turned on. The first time it launches, you will get a pop-up window asking you to select the game and data path. It should be pre-filled for you, but if it's not, then click the three little dots next to the game you're installing it for and navigate to where your game data folder is located. For Skyrim, if you have the Steam version, the path should be something like this. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, Data. Yours may be slightly different than mine, so be sure to select your location and be sure that it ends with data. Then click the Choose Game button and note that Anniversary Edition is the same as Skyrim Special Edition. As a Vortex user, you can leave all the default settings as they are and Body Slide will build outfits directly to the Skyrim data folder. If you are a beginner, you don't need to do anything else to get started. 
Once you are more experienced, you can consider building into custom folders, which is something that I prefer to do, and I'll be covering how to do that in a future video. Lastly, in the body slide window, make sure you have sliders and drop down options to choose from in the menus. If you do, then you are good to go. If you do not, please skip to the troubleshooting part of this video. After downloading and activating the body slide mod in MO2, we need to add it to our executables list. Click on the data tab in the right hand pane. Then click the little arrow next to the Caliente Tools folder to open it up. Do the same for the Body Slide folder and right click on the file called Body Slide X64.exe. Select Add as Executable and hit OK. It will now show up in the Executables drop down box at the top where you can select it and hit Run to launch the tool. But don't do that just yet we have some additional setup to do first. MO2 users will want to create a specific output folder where outfits go when BodySlide builds them, and then point the BodySlide output path to this folder. If you do not, you run the risk of overwriting the NIFs in your original mods because of how MO2's virtual folder system works. To make this output folder, First select the little Tools drop-down and choose Create Empty Mod. Enter in an appropriate name, like Body Slide Output, and click OK. Scroll down to find this new folder. It will be grayed out because it's empty, which is fine, but go ahead and activate it. You want this folder to stay very close to the bottom of your load order, so it will always overwrite any other meshes above it and keep it activated at all times. Some guides will tell you to click on the gears up here, select body slide, tick this box for create files in mod instead of overwrite, and select the folder you've just created in the drop down list. However, this is optional in my opinion because it does not work reliably for everyone and therefore it does not guarantee that your mods will be protected. The output path you set from within Body Slide itself appears to take priority over anything set in MO2, including the Overwrite folder. This means that Body Slide can save the new NIFs that it creates over the NIFs inside the original mod, or another mob that also contains NIFs of the same name, and do this instead of writing them to the Overwrite folder. And this can happen even if you have designated a different location here in the MO2 executables list. What I recommend as a better, safer, and more reliable method is to always set the output path in the body slide tool itself so that it points to the new output folder we've just created. Select the body slide executable from the drop down list and click on Run to launch it. If this is the first time it has been launched, you'll get a pop-up window asking you to select the game and data path. This should be pre-filled for you, but if it's not, then click the three little dots next to the game you are installing it for and navigate to where your game data folder is located. For Skyrim, if you have the Steam version, the path should be something like this. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition, and Data. Yours may be slightly different than mine, so be sure to select your location and be sure that it ends with the word Data. Then click the Choose Game button, and note that Anniversary Edition is the same as Skyrim Special Edition. The final step is to tell BodySlide where we want the files to go when we build, and this is very important. I'm sorry to be repetitive, but if you don't do this step, the NIFs that get built can overwrite the meshes in the original mods. And I assume that if you've chosen to use MO2 over Vortex that you, like me, really don't want that kind of behavior. To make sure it doesn't happen, click on the Settings button down here at the bottom of the body slide window. Then click the little arrow next to Advanced to open up this hidden pane. 
click on the Browse button next to the line that says Output Path and navigate to where your mod folders are located for MO2. And remember that your path may be slightly different than mine. Find the Body Slide Output folder that we made in the previous step and select it. Confirm that it shows here in the box at the bottom, click Select Folder, and then click OK to exit the Settings menu. Now you should be all set. As long as that path does not point to the Skyrim Data folder, an Original Outfit Mods folder, or is not left empty, your mods should be safe. With everything set up, now you just need to make sure you can see sliders in the Body Slide window and that you have the appropriate options in the drop-down menu for the body mod that you installed. If you don't, keep watching for some troubleshooting tips. If you happen to get the game path wrong when you launched Body Slide the first time, don't fret. You can change it anytime in the Body Slide Settings menu. The same goes for the Body Slide Output path. That can be changed anytime here in the Advanced Settings section. But unless you know what you are doing, Vortex users should leave this blank or set it to the Skyrim Data folder, and MO2 users should always have this set to their Body Slide Output folder. If you use MO2, do not leave this blank or set it to the Skyrim Data folder, or you can overwrite your mods by mistake. If the window is blank when you open Body Slide and you have no sliders and nothing in the drop down lists, then Body Slide is not finding any Caliente Tools files. Similarly, if you have outfits in the list and sliders in the window, but your presets drop down list is empty, then it isn't finding the slider presets that go with your body mod add on. For either situation, try these troubleshooting tips. First, make sure you don't have any filters set in Body Slide. If there is something in either of these filter boxes up here, click the little gray X inside each one to clear it. Now check your outfit and preset dropdowns again to see if that fixed the problem. If that didn't work, exit Body Slide and double check that you have activated CBBE or whatever other compatible body mod add-on you installed in your Mod Manager. Third, make sure you are using the right version of your body mod. For example, use SSE CBBE for Skyrim Special Edition or Anniversary Edition, and use CBBE LE for Original Skyrim. Fourth, make sure the body mod you installed is actually compatible with Body Slide. If it's not on this add-ons list, and it doesn't come with a Caliente Tools folder, then it is not compatible. And yes, this means that you cannot use UNP in Body Slide. Finally, if you checked all of those things and it still isn't working, try re downloading and reinstalling Body Slide and the compatible Body Mod again, and repeat all the steps for setting it up as shown in this video. If none of those suggestions work, head over to the Osnius Modding Discord server and ask for help. The link is in the description. Thanks for joining me for this video about installing Body Slide. Now that it's installed, you can skip ahead to video number 5, and the link is in the description, where we will take a tour of the main window and figure out what all that stuff is. I hope to see you again soon for that. Until then, happy outfitting!